Hi there, Brace here. In this video, I'm gonna share as a person who has no experience how I create my VR 180 camera and the post production workflow to create immersive videos. Okay, let's get right into the content. VR 180 cameras are niche in the market. There are not many choices and the good ones are usually very expensive. Inspired by some YouTubers, I decided to make my own. The one I have chosen are Insta360 GO 3. They have wide-angle fish eye lenses, high frame weight, compact and not so expensive. The first thing I need to do is to build a rig to hold the two cameras together. They need to be perfectly aligned horizontally. The rig is made by acrylic plastic. The camera holders are taken from the head clips that come with the Go 3. The distance between the camera lenses is 63 mm, same as the average interpupillary distance of the human eyes. The holders can be mounted differently to allow a different IPD settings. A narrow 33mm IPD for shooting close-up objects or a wider 93mm IPD for more exaggerated 3D effects. The rig can be mounted on a tripod for a steady shot or on a small gimbal like a Zhiyun Crane M2 for mobile shot. But the camera movement must be very stable otherwise it will cause motion sickness to the viewers. The two cameras must use menu settings to ensure the videos for the left and right eye have the same exposure and color temperature. I use 1440p free frame mode, 50 frames per second, and manual white balance. Now I'm gonna show you the steps in post production workflow. First, import the left and right eye footages to Final Cut Pro. The two footages must be frame synchronized from start to end. Perform all editing like trimming, transition, and color grading. After editing, the left and right eye footages are exported separately in ProRes format. Then the footages are imported into Mystic Boutique for VR 180 stitching and the output to side-by-side -side equal rectangular format. I will talk about this more later. At this stage, the video is ready for viewing, but to further enhance the fidelity, I use Topaz Video AI to upscale from 5K to 8K. And finally, the VR 180 video is uploaded to DOVR for sharing, or upload to VR goggles for local viewing. I put a link to my DOVR channel uh, down below. Let me show you how I do the VR 180 stitching in Mr. Capotique. So first of all, start the program. And then after that, create a new project. And after that, upload the footages into Mr. Capotic. You can put the left eye and right eye footages on top of each other. Select both of them and then go to FX and apply the VR stitch. Then go into the VR stitch and do the configuration. Now, first of all, we you need to set uh, the camera first by adding a camera because we have uh, two cameras. One is left eye and the other one is right eye. Uh, so the uh, camera one is right eye. Set to right, and then camera two is left eye. And then after that, we're going to set the 
focal length for goal three, uh, I set it to nine. Circle mass to 50. K1 minus 0 0.1 and K2 0 0.01. That will set the right perspective for the camera. And you can check the perspective by going into the VR mode and observe whether uh, everything is in a straight line. There's no fish eye effect. Okay, okay, good. Uh, the next step is to uh, do the VL alignment to fix the parallax effect. Uh, you probably notice that uh, in, the in the far end, the object are still um, has a large discrepancy, and we, don't, we need to go and fix it. Now, first of all, go into the align mode, and then we're gonna move the um, camera. Okay, so here you can drag the screen to get the right eye and the left eye image aligned. Gonna zoom in a little bit. Now using the far end object like this building, uh, we're gonna drag the center part and also the two ends. So eventually, um, the building here should be aligned perfectly. Um, you don't see the red and the uh, blue color. Okay. So step by step. Then you can zoom in a little bit to make sure that they are all aligned. Almost done, I think. Then you can go back to the VR mode to check the result. You can also put in a anagriff glasses to check the result. Yeah, that looks good. And when this is done, you can go back select the starting point and the end point of the whole clip and then go to output and set it to uh, side by side mode side by side VR 180 for the beat rate set it to 60 mag And after that, you can render the uh, video. And that's it. After the VR 180 stitching, the resolution is about 5K. And I use this Topaz Video AI to upscale that to 8K. As you can see, this is a pretty CPU intensive process. I use a MacBook Pro with a M3 Max processor. As you can see, the GPU and the CPUs are pretty much maxed out. A one minute video may take one hour to process. Let's check out the results inside the goggles. That pretty much sums up what I have learned so far about VR 180 video production. Please share in the comment if you have any advice for me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.